Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I have three more alpha tutorials for you. Firstly I'd just like to apologise for being away for so long, but if you enjoyed the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, if you have an alpha which you'd like to send to me for a chance to be on sub of the week, then please do make sure that you send it to militatedyt at gmail.com. Alternatively though, you can also send it to my Instagram which is official militated, which I am much more active on. So two of these outfits are pretty much new, I just designed them today, and one of them is sort of a revised remake of a very popular one. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is head down to the nearest clothing store and start browsing the outfit section. From here we're going to start scrolling down the list until we get to the heist rider category. Now we're going to purchase the metal outfit which has the black stealth jacket, the black flight trousers and the black flight boots. So now that we have that on, we're going to back out and head over to accessories. Just before we do that, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into inventory. From here we're going to go into body armour and equip the standard armour. Okay, now we're going to go into the accessory section and from here we're going to go into scarves. Now we're going to purchase the black desert scarf and then back out. Next we're going to go into gloves and I like to choose the black fingerless gloves but you can also use the black tax gloves if you want. So now that we've done that, we're going to go over to glasses. From here we're going to go into sports glasses and start scrolling on the list. We're going to be purchasing the black wraparounds, now make sure it's not the black wraparound glasses as they do not have the tinted lenses. Just make sure that you save the outfit before we continue and then we're going to back out. So next we're going to head over to the hat section of the store and from here we're going to go down to where it says secure serve caps. Now you can use a different backwards cap if you want but we're going to use the secure serve backwards cap. After doing all of that we have now built the foundation of the outfit and we're going to move on to the nearest ammunition. So once we have arrived there, we're going to head over to the gear section which is located in the middle of the store. From here we're going to make sure that we have purchased the grey earpiece which is at the bottom and we're also going to make sure that we have purchased the night vision. So when you back out you may notice that the pants have changed but don't worry once again. Instead what we're going to do is open up the interaction menu, go into style and equip the outfit that we saved in the clothing store. Now we're going to go up to where it says accessories and browse the gear until we get through to the night vision. Okay, so now that we are at this stage, we're going to head over to the weapon section. From here we're going to make sure that we have purchased a parachute which is in the top left. Now open up your interaction menu once again, go into style and parachute, and make sure that parachute is set to on. So for this outfit, we'll be using the black combat shoe bag as usual. Now we're going to head over to the top section of the store and we're going to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. Okay, so at this stage we're now going to leave the clothing store and for this next part you are going to need a motorbike. If you don't have one, then make sure that you buy one and request it to your location. Now once again we're going to open up the interaction menu, but this time I'm going to style and make sure that auto show bike helmet is set to on. After doing that, we're then going to go up to where it says accessories. Now go down to hats and we're going to scroll through until we get to the secure serve backwards cap or whichever one you chose. After doing that, we're then going to get onto the motorbike. Now wait a couple of seconds and your character will then put on a bike helmet. We're now going to get off of the motorbike and go down to where it says outfit. Now scroll along to one that we just saved in the ammunition and equip it when your character is removing the bike helmet. You should then notice that you now have the secure serve backwards cap on top of the night vision. So just before we continue, we're going to make sure that we save it once again. After it's been saved, we're then going to head down to the nearest high-end apartment. Okay, now that we are here, we're going to start sprinting towards the telescope. I'm going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get next to it and your character should just stand there. It may take a few attempts, but you should now notice that you are no longer wearing the mask. So now we're going to open up the interaction menu, we're going to style and accessories, and we're going to press left until we get to the grey earpiece. Now we're going to go down to glasses and press right and you should get to the black wraparounds. At this point we're then going to walk away and you should then notice that the mask will reappear. As you can see we now have the night vision, the grey earpiece, the hat and the glasses on all at the same time. So now we're going to either head down to the nearest clothing store or to the wardrobe in the apartment and we're going to make sure that we save the outfit. Normally the outfit would be completed at this point, but for now we're going to head down to the nearest hairdressers. So when you look down you might be able to see behind the glasses and you can still see part of your character's face. Obviously this is completely optional, but we're going to make it so that we can't see the character's face underneath. So we're going to go into face paints and select anyone that has black circles around the eyes such as this one. I decided to speed these parts up otherwise we'd be sitting here all day, but once you do, you should then notice that you can no longer see your face underneath the mask. But with all of that stuff being done, we have now finished the first outfit. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Now this one is a remake of one that I have made before. I believe it was called the Apocalyptic Assassin and it's just recently hit 100,000 views even though it's patched. 
It was basically just a fully black version of this outfit but I thought I'd change it a little for this video. So to start off this outfit we're going to head down to the nearest clothing store and start browsing the pants section. From here we're going to go down to team pants and purchase the tan combat pants. Now if you want to go with the apocalyptic assassin version then you can use the black highs pants instead. Now we're going to go into the top section of the store and scroll down the list until we get to the hoodies category. Now go down to the bottom of the list and start scrolling up until we get to the black hooded jacket. Okay so now that we have that on we're going to back out of the top section. Our next step is to then head over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into boots and make sure that we purchase the black scruffy boots. Now you can use it as the black flight boots if you want but I think that the black scruffy boots have a dusty appearance which sort of match with the tan pants. We're going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour and equip the super heavy armour. If you want the old apocalyptic assassin one then equip the standard armour. Now we're going to go into style and accessories and we're going to scroll through masks until we get to any random one which equips the hood. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Now we're going to start browsing the accessory section of the store and go into scarves. From here we're going to purchase the tan desert scarf or you can use the black desert scarf if you want. Now we're going to go into gloves and purchase the black fingerless gloves. Okay so after having done that we're going to back out and head over to the glasses section. From here we're going to go down to sports glasses and we're going to purchase the mono outlaw goggles. So this is just my personal preference, of course you can choose whichever ones you want. Now we're going to head over to the hat section of the store, go into beanies and purchase the black saggy beanie. Now we'll be using these later on, but for now we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition. So as we did before, we're going to start browsing the gear section which is in the middle of the store. From here we're going to purchase the grey earpiece and then we're going to back out. But just before we leave, we're going to go over to the weapon section of the store and again we're going to make sure that we've purchased a parachute. The reason I always seem to add the parachutes to the outfit is because I like the straps on the front and it makes the back of the outfit look less empty. Once you've equipped it from the interaction menu, you can either use the black combat shoot bag or the tan combat shoot bag, it's really just up to you. Our next step is to then leave the ammunition and head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. So we're going to start browsing the hat section and go down to the bottom of the list where it says biker helmets. Now we're going to purchase any of the dome helmets and then back out. Now we're going to head over to the mask section of the store go into biker and we have two options here. We can either use the black dome vent or the black dome filter. Either way you're going to equip it and make sure that you save the outfit before we continue. So once it's been saved we're then going to need to head down to the nearest high end apartment. When you get to the high end apartment you may notice that you are no longer wearing the helmet or the mask. So what we need to do is open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and go down to outfit and equip the one that we just saved at the mask store. Ok now we're going to close the interaction menu and sprint towards the telescope. Just right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it and you should just stand there. As I said before it might take a few attempts but you should notice that you are no longer wearing the helmet or the mask again. So now we're going to open up the interaction menu and this time we're going to go into style and accessories. We're going to go down to where it says glasses and scroll along until we get to the mono outlaw goggles. When you walk away from the telescope you should then notice that the helmet and the mask will reappear but we are still wearing the mono outlaws and the earpiece. Now we're going to either head down to the nearest clothing store or to the wardrobe which is in the apartment, it doesn't really matter which one, we just need to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. Ok so now that we have done that we're going to leave the high end apartment and for this next part we are going to need a motorbike. If you don't have one then make sure that you purchase one and request it at your location. Now we're going to need to open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go down to where it says security server and register as a CEO or a VIP. Once you've done that we're then going to reopen the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and make sure the auto show bike helmet is set to on. Now we're going to go up to where it says outfit and equip the one that we saved in the apartment. Now it might seem pointless but you just have to do it. Next we're then going to go up to where it says accessories and go down to where it says hats. Now we're going to scroll through the hats until we get to the black saggy beanie which we purchased earlier on. Ok now we're going to get onto the motorbike and wait a couple of seconds until the character puts on a bike helmet. We're now going to get off of the motorbike and you're going to go down to where it says outfit. Now when your character is removing the bike helmet you're going to re-equip the outfit once again. The helmet and mask will show up for a second but you should now be wearing the black saggy beanie. So now we're going to go into secure serve CEO or VIP, go into management and style and equip the founder outfit or something similar. This bit might take a few tries but you're going to get onto the motorbike and as you're getting on you're going to switch back to none. I'd personally suggest that you switch back to none just before your character is sitting down. Like I said that might take a few tries so if it does not work the first time then rewind the video by about a minute and then just retry. If you did it right then make sure that you go into the clothing store and make sure that you save the outfit. Now just before we finish up with this outfit I'm going to go through one problem that you're going to face and how to solve it. So if you ever decide to change the outfit or you join a new game you might notice that the half mask has disappeared when you change back. So in order to get it back go up to where it says parachute. 
You're then going to press triangle or whichever button you use to get on the bike and as you're getting on you're going to switch to the outfit. Like we did before, make sure that you switch to the outfit just before your character sits on the bike. But yeah, we are now done with that outfit so we're going to move on to the last one of the video. So I'm not too sure what it is about this outfit but I think that all of the parts of it just work really well together. Looking back on it, I'd probably run this outfit without the goggles if I was to use it myself but that is completely up to you. So as we've done with all the outfits so far, we're going to need to start off in the clothing store. We're going to start browsing the pants section and go down to utility pants. From here we're going to purchase the khaki battle pants which already have the black tactical boots. Next we're then going to head over to the top section. As we did before, we're going to start scrolling down the list until we get down to the hoodies category. For this outfit we're going to purchase the black baggy hoodie and then we're going to back out. So now that we have done that, we're going to head over to the accessory section but just before we do that, open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go back into inventory and body armour and we're going to equip the standard armour. Now I didn't know that you can actually equip armour on these hoodies but, you know, it looks pretty cool. So we're going to go into accessories and go into gloves and from here we're going to purchase the black tact gloves at the bottom of the list. After doing that we're then going to back out and head over to the glasses section of the store. From here we're going to go back into sports glasses but this time we're going to purchase the grayscale urban skis. Now again I would personally run it without these but you can select them if you want. Before we continue just make sure that you save the outfit in the state. So now that we've done that we're going to head down to the mask store on this future beach. From here we're going to start browsing the mask section and we're going to go down to the bottom of the list. I've got to where it's the ski mask and go down to the bottom once again. We're going to purchase the black tight ski. Again just make sure that you save the outfit before we continue, that is very important. We're now pretty much done at the mask store so we're going to head down to the nearest high end apartment. Now we're going to start sprinting towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Again it might take a few attempts but you should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope. So now we're going to open up the interaction menu like we've done in previous times, we're going to style and accessories and we're going to equip the grayscale urban skis. So now that we've done that we're going to run away from the telescope or walk away, then you should notice that the mask will reappear and you are still wearing the grayscale urban skis. At this point we're then going to either head up to the wardrobe in the high end apartment or down to the nearest clothing store. Either way you just need to make sure that you save the outfit. Now that we have that out of the way we're going to back out and head down to the nearest ammunition. So as we've done with the other outfits, we're going to start browsing the weapon section and make sure that we purchase a parachute. Just in case you've forgotten how to put it on, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure it's set to on. So for this outfit we can either use the black combat shoot bag or the forest combat shoot bag, depending on which one you want. So now that we have made our selection, we're going to head over to the top section of the store. Now we're going to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue, and then we're going to need to leave the ammunition. So for this next part, you are going to need to head down to the nearest yacht. Now I understand that not everyone has a yacht so if you don't have one then make sure that you fly around in a public free mode session until you find a random one. At this point we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and make sure the auto show aircraft helmet is set to on. Next we're then going to go up to where it says accessories and we're going to remove any headgear so that we aren't wearing anything on our head. Now that we have done that we're either going to get into the helicopter on the yacht or you can bring something like a maverick. You should then be able to see that your character is now wearing the pilot headset through the front window. Do not use the buzzard or any other helicopter with guns because that will give you the flight suit helmet instead of the pilot headset. I would advise that you take your time with this next part because it can be a little bit difficult. But we're basically going to fly the helicopter through the back of the yacht and you're going to try to gently land it into the hot tub. When you get out of the helicopter and leave the hot tub you should then notice that you now have the pilot headset on your outfit. It doesn't matter if the helicopter blows up and kills you before you can leave the hot tub because you will respawn with the headset on anyway. We're going to need a motorbike for this next part so again if you don't have one, buy one and request it to your location. Now open up the interaction menu and go into style and make sure the auto show bike helmet is set to on. We're then going to get onto the motorbike and wait a couple of seconds until the character puts on a bike helmet. We're then going to get off of the motorbike and you're going to go up to where it says outfit. Now scroll along to the one that we saved which has the ski mask and the goggles and equip it when your character is removing the bike helmet. You should then notice that the pilot headset will then transfer over to the outfit. We're then either going to head over to the mask store or the clothing store, whichever one you're nearest to, and you're going to make sure that you save the outfit. Either way, we're going to need to head down to the nearest clothing store anyway. So we're now going to start browsing the outfit section of the store and scroll down the list until we get to flight suits. So from here you can either choose the green flight suit or the black flight suit, depending on which flight suit tube you want. So I decided to go for the green one. We're then going to need to head down to the strip club. Once you have arrived, you're then going to simply head inside and open up your interaction menu. I'll go down to where it says style and you're going to go down to outfit. Now equip the outfit that we just saved in the clothing store and then walk outside. You should have noticed that the flight suit hose has then glitched onto the front of your outfit. 
So thankfully for the last time, we're now going to need to head over to the nose clothing store to make sure that we save the outfit. But just before we finish up, I'm going to go through a problem that you're going to face with this outfit and how to quickly solve it. So like the last outfit that I showed, if you decide to switch your outfit and then switch back, you might notice that the flight suit host has disappeared. So in order to get it back, just equip the outfit once again and it will then reappear. But with all of that being said and done, we are now finished with the outfit. This has been quite a long video and I do apologise for that, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to my channel where you can find a bunch of different outfit tutorials and glitches such as this one. As I said at the start of the video, if you have an outfit which you'd like to send to me for a chance to be on sub of the week, then please do make sure that you send it to militatedyt at gmail.com. Alternatively though, you can also send it to my Instagram which is officialmilitated which I am much more active on. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with the channel and I'll see you guys in the next GTA Online video.